The story of what's happening in Fulton is not a new one in Missouri. Small towns have been losing their local businesses for years. Dana Jennings owns the last shoe shop in town, and it's closing. Jennings says when she was a kid, there were many retail shops downtown. People thought about coming downtown to shop, but now they go elsewhere. But I'm the only retail store downtown, and I think that hurts a little bit. And I've heard a lot of people say they don't even go downtown, and even after I'd been here for two years, they'd say they didn't even know I was open. Like many other rural communities, Fulton faces challenges from adjacent cities with more choices. Many residents prefer shopping in Columbia and St. Louis, leaving small local businesses struggling. During the past 35 years, Lee Jessup has witnessed how fast businesses sprung up and disappeared in Fulton. A lot of people will go to it the first couple months that they're open, and then the next thing you know, they're closed. Traditional retailers might be failing, but one couple from San Francisco managed to make its arts businesses survive. Brian and Danielle Warren opened a bookstore and a frame shop within the art house, a nonprofit art gallery. The couple also participates in events such as Autumn on the Bricks, an annual downtown festival focused on local art and food held by the Brick District Association. The goal is to not only attract Fulton residents to come downtown, but also visitors from other communities. What we've done is to work on making reasons for people to come and spend time downtown. We don't sell necessities. We, you know, we're selling an experience for people. Fulton is now adding the Playhouse, a renovated historical theater, to its downtown attractions. It is opening in mid-October. Business leaders hope it can bring people to Fulton. Renee Graham is the director of tourism for Callaway County. We are fortunate that we have a lot of our historic structures still in place. We have the Brick District Playhouse, which is our historic theater that the community is rallying around to salvage it, to renovate it, and to open it up as a cultural tourist attraction that will serve the local community as well as draw visitors. Marge Hoffman, who works for the shoe store and has lived in Fulton for 25 years, doesn't think events are benefiting local businesses. I think people that go to the farmer's market, they go to the farmer's market. Uh, they park out in front of our store on Saturday, they walk down, but nine out of 10 of them never come in the store. Jennings thinks the most important thing is for more people to open businesses downtown. There's a lot of empty buildings and we have um, an awesome group of folks down here that are small business owners, but there's been so many that's come in and, and failed like mine that I don't know that people feel led or overly excited about opening their own small business again. With the opening of the Playhouse, city officials hope to attract more customers and ultimately more businesses to downtown. With producers Ely Liu and Man Yun Zhou, Michaela Compton, KBIA News.